welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a back to school haul. I was intending to put this in with the vlog that I did when we actually went shopping for it, but it was going to be too long, so I decided to put this up as a separate vlog, which is why it starts a, a little bit strangely. And also, I haven't done it like I normally would do a haul because Hugo, the little puppy, decided to chew the cable of my ring light, so I no longer have a ring light. Um, or a stand or anything, so until I get that we just have to go with the flow, so please excuse the way that I've done it, hopefully you'll still enjoy it anyway, you'll see what the girls got for going back to school, sorry about these dogs playing, and also at the end of it there's a few little food products that I got from Asda that I wanted to show you as well, so stick around for that and I'll see you later. So I'm going to start with Brooks things and I will do it in shop order. So I'm going to start with Primark. I didn't get much for Brooke out of Primark to be honest because I mean they've not really got back to school stuff anyway. They had a few skirts for the younger kids but they didn't have anything for Brooke's age. Um, Abby did get stuff but Brooke didn't really. But before I show you Brooke's stuff let's take a minute to appreciate this that we got for Hugo. You would have seen this in the actual vlog part. But look, and I've taken some uh, video and photos of them wearing it. How cute is that? That was £6 and that was a large and it just fits them. <laughs> it is unbelievably cute. So yeah, had to show you that. Right, um, the other things that I've got out of Primark for Brooke were just socks, seven pairs of socks for £2, which you can't complain at. And what I like about Primark socks is they've got the sizes inside them, so I've got Abby a slightly different size, and that way you can tell which ones are a pair and which ones belong to Abby and which ones belong to Brooke. So I've got Brooke the 12 and a half to 3 and a half. And the only other thing I got for Brooke out of Primark was a little bra. Again, it's a nightmare trying to get a bra for Brooke's age and size because I don't want to get her a padded one or a push-up one or anything like that. This was the only one that I found and I thought it was quite pretty. So that was a 32A, it was the weirdest that they do and it was £4. So that was everything from Primark. Now we'll go on to new look for Brooke. Look at this pen. How cute is that? That was three ninety nine. but it's got a very squishy panda on it and with Brooke having her Asperger's she likes tactile things. I think it's actually slightly broken, it was the last one. Um, but it doesn't matter, she will have fun playing with that, she'll have fun squishing it um, while she's concentrating. So yeah, they had, um, a, I can't remember what the other ones were, they had a few pens and they had a lot of just squishies on their own but she wanted the pen. Also, in new look, we got her this top. So we got her just this v-neck top. It's actually very nice. Um, it's long sleeve, so it's just to wear over her shirts in case they've still got windows open to air the classrooms um, and it gets a bit chilly. And it's actually, it's not too thick. It's perfect material. I don't know if you can see it. don't know what it's made of, actually. It's polyester. So, yeah. So she got that top. That was... 14 99 and that was an age 12 to 13. That was in their 915 section. And the other jumper that she got is slightly thicker. It's more like a sweatshirt material and it's actually quite fluffy inside. It's really soft. So this will be for the colder days and going into the winter. I think this was actually a boys one. It was from the 915 range again and it's a round neck this time and I don't have a clue what that says on it. Lolu or something, I don't know. Anyway, so that was $9.99 for that one, age 12 to 13. And yeah, I think that was a boy section, but you will see a theme with Brooke. Brooke's going through a bit of a tomboy, I want to be a boy, not a girl phase. So yeah, we're just going with the flow with that one just now. But that is what she got there. That was actually the only jumpers that we got Brooke. So when we're in Clyde Bank today, I might have a look to see if I can get her another one, maybe a Matalan or Sports Direct when we're in there. Right, on to H&M, which is where we got the majority of her stuff. Um, she was needing PE clothes for outdoor and indoor. So for outdoor, she chose, again, from the boys section. She chose this T-shirt and it's actually navy rather than black. And it's got team vibes, it's a basketball 
shirt. She doesn't really follow basketball, but she liked the top. And it was only 2 99 so I wasn't complaining. So she got that to go with these grey joggies. And um, it's just got worldwide up the side of them. It's got the pull string. It's got zip pockets. They are fleece lined. Again, the boys section, if I didn't say that. I've got a back pocket as well, I didn't notice that. They were $12.99 and they were in an age 12 to 13. And they've got a cuff bottom to them. So, yep, that's for our outdoor PE. And here she is modelling it. Indoor PE, we persuaded her to go and have a look in the ladies section. There was nothing in the girls section at all. I mean, even I wouldn't have put anything on her from the girls section, to be fair. Um, so we went to the ladies section and she loved this t-shirt. And it's a crop t-shirt. As you can see, it's got the dolphins on the front. I think it's really cute. It's got the faded black um, outside. Sorry if you can hear banging and drilling. Jack's working in my craft room for me. Um, this t-shirt was nine ninety nine, and it was an extra small. It's still huge, but I might get her to wear a wee vest under it or something so that if she's jumping about, she's not flashing. As you can see from her face, she didn't like it. <laughs> and to go with that, we've got these cycling shorts, which I think are lovely. Again, it just says Day Sport on the top. And this was from the ladies' section again. They were twelve ninety nine. dollars Again, quite expensive. We were limited with what we could get. We should actually have looked in Primark for the PE stuff, but to be fair, we got a bit distracted by Disney. <laughs> but anyway, that was the shorts that she got for indoor PE. On to trousers now, like I was saying, she's going through the boy phase just now, so she wanted trousers, not skirts, and trying to get her to get them from a girl's section was a nightmare because they were all too wide-legged or too party-ish, she said. So, she insisted on going to the boys' section. She got these, but to be fair, again, there was no trousers at all in the girls. So, she got these, they're just slim-fit, adjustable waist, black trousers, they're not denim, uh, they are actual trousers, and they've got pockets at the sides, and oops, they've got turn ups at the bottom, so she is going to look very boyish in them, but that's the look that she's going for, and like I say, we're going with the flow right now. So these were $12.99, she got them in an age 13 to 14 because of. The 12 to 13 looked way too short on her. She has got unbelievably long legs. So she got two pairs of these. She felt they were still too short, so she took the turn-ups down, which is better. We compromised with Brooke and told her that she could get the two from the boys' section as long as she got something from the ladies' section. So she got these super skinny, high-waist, jegging-type things uh, in a size 6. Hopefully they'll fit her okay, because she's never had ladies clothes yet, and they're just skinny leg. Now, they might be too long, but she'll roll them up just the same as the bottom of those trousers, um, if they are. Or we can cut them off, because the sort of ragged look is in. So, that is what she got. These were 14 99 and like I said, they were a size 6. She likes these, because they're not too girly. That was everything for Brooke and H&M. Let's go on to the works now. I wanted her to get an academic diary to keep track of her homework and things. And of course, she chose the rainbow one. Are you seeing where I'm going with this, folks? Yes. That's a whole different video, that is. But anyway, this is the one she chose. It's all good. And it's the rainbow one. It was... It should be £10. It was reduced to £3. And it's actually really good inside. Every day has got a page and they've all got things to do, special events, notes, and they've got different times, and they've got all the, the months along the bottom. And it goes in the academic year, so it starts. Oh, it's got a bit for deadline, deadlines and exams as well. So it starts in August, and it'll go all the way through to July next year. So, that is her diary that she got and also from the works she got a blue pencil case it had to be blue and um, this was already filled with some pens pencils a rubber a sharpener and a ruler and that was five pounds 
she didn't want anything fancy. There was loads of fancy ones, but she just wanted to go with that, which is fine. So that was everything we got for her. The works was very disappointing for back to school things, actually. And lastly, we'll go to Asda. Sticking with stationery, she got some highlighters out of Asda because, again, they didn't have a great choice in the works. And I'm not sure how much they were. I've not got my Asda receipt to hand. Oh, wait now, see. I have got the Asda receipt, but everything's coming up as stationery, so I don't know what's what. If I can find the prices online, I'll put them on for you. So Brooke got some highlighters to go in her pencil case, and some more black pens. And the only other thing we got from Asda was school shirts. Um, and we've got a mix of boys and girls because it was just whatever size we could get. She wanted long sleeve, so she's got six long sleeve shirts. Um, easy to iron, regular fit, age 12 to 13 years and it was £5.50 for a two pack. So like I said, she got two packs of the boys and one of the girls, but they're exactly the same. It's just the buttons that are on different sides and they're the same price as well. So that was everything for Brooke. Right, so for Abby's, we went to Quiz because she got a few good skirts out of there a couple of years ago. And to be honest, it was exactly the same skirts that they had this time. Exactly the same. The styles haven't changed. I think they've just put them in the warehouse and dug them out again. Um, but she did get this one a few years ago and she was still wearing it last year. So she got a new one of this because she does like it. It's just like a sort of seersucker type material. Um, and it is ribbed. And she got it in a size 10 and that was 12 99 So that was all she ended up getting out of New Look. <laughs> So from Primark, Abby got this lovely sort of tank top style, sleeveless, cardy type thing. It's got the button down detail at the front. It's a knitted rib and it's just got the raw edge at the bottom, which I think is lovely. She got that in a size small and that was £12. So that's to wear over her shirts. That was the only sort of clothes type thing she got in Primark, but she also got Tights, so she got three pairs of 60 denier opaque tights for £3.50. Socks, again, they're the same as Brooks, seven pairs for £2, but Abby got the size four to six and a half, so we'll know who's or who's, because they always lose their socks, and then they blame each other for stealing them. Um, and finally, in Primark, Abby decided she didn't want like a backpack type school bag this year she wanted a handbag and she has basically managed to nab a Michael Kors one from her gran so Granny Annie has given Abby one of her Michael Kors bags so what she did get out of Primark was this handbag tidy to put inside it and it was three pound and it's actually excellent it's got a clip that you can clip it on a big inside section and it's got lots of pockets on the outside that she can put her phone, her keys, anything like that in. She's going to put, it's got big pockets on that side. She's going to put any snacks and things in there so that her actual bag isn't getting covered in crumbs and things. And she can take that out. It's got loads of wee pockets, look. It's fantastic. So, and it's got handles so she can take that out and carry it about if she has to as well. So, yeah, we really like that. For £3, it's brilliant for inside your handbag just to keep things from all rummaging about and falling to the bottom if you've got sort of smallish items. Um, and that was the packaging for it there. So that is what it looks like. So that was everything from Primark. Like I said, we didn't get a lot. I don't like the Primark and Brayhead, to be fair. Right, on to H&M now. Abby got this lovely denim skirt in black. It's got pockets on either side. It has got a button and a zip. And that was 14 99 She got it in a size 10. Sorry, it's not very easy to show you without a blooming ring light. Um, so yeah, just a... And it's not too short as well, for once. Although, I'm quite sure she'll pull it up so that you can see what she's had for her breakfast. As they do. Um, so she got that skirt and she got these jeans. They're loose high waist jeans. As you can see, they're nice and wide and baggy. They've got the turn ups on the bottom as well. And they've got pockets in them. Button and zip. Not my sort of style, but she likes them. What they like at the back. Got pockets like standard jeans. So that's them. They were 17 99 and she got them in a size 10. 
I wasn't very good at bargain shopping because there wasn't any bargain shops other than Primark that had nothing. I wasn't impressed. Then Abby got some jumpers for over her shirts in H&M. So she got this long sleeve jumper which has got the gorgeous detail. It's um, cropped to just sort of it'll sit over the boobs like that. But obviously she'll have her uh, shirt and tie on under it. But I love the shape of the neck. It's a sort of square neck and it comes down to the point there. It's lovely. Long sleeves and skinny bottom. And this was $14.99 and she got it in a size medium. She didn't try, they didn't try any of them on in the shops because of what's going on just now. So we're hoping they fit. Abby also got this top for over her shirts and as you can see it's very thin. It's like a sort of meshy type material. I don't know if you can see that. Right. You see? Um, and it's got the gorgeous button detail down the front. It's a scoop round neck. I think that's what you call it. I'm no fashion expert, you know me. It's got the raw edges on the sleeve as well as along the bottom. And that is really nice. That was $9.99 and she got that in a size medium as well. And Abby got one more cardigan and that's just a like your more sort of traditional school cardigan. It was a ladies H&M and it's just a round neck with black buttons. It's got the ribbed bottom ripped cuffs and that was $8.99 she got that in a size medium now we didn't get any shirts for Abby because we couldn't see any like proper school shirts as I didn't have any in her size but she's still got some from when we went back after lockdown that are still in decent condition and she's going to have a jumper on over them anyway so I'm not too worried about that if they all look terrible I'll try and get her some more when we're out next week but she's got enough to do her just now anyway so that was everything from there I'll show you her shoes now now you know me I hate names however when it comes to her school shoes I like her to be comfortable and the last pair that she got out of JD Sport I think it was two years ago and they were about £55 and she's worn them for two years. Well, apart from lockdown. So I didn't mind spending the extra for decent school shoes for her. So she got the Converse ones. And this is what they look like. To me, they just look like school gutties. Remember the school gutties that we always used to wear for gym? And most of the time they had the Velcro bit over them. That's what it reminds me of. But Abby likes them. And they were... £37, which isn't bad for Converse, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I don't think they look like they're worth £37. But hopefully they'll be comfortable for her and she'll wear them all year. So I didn't mind so much. So that's all that we got out of JD Sports because we were looking at bags and things and shoes for group, but they were all just so expensive. So we're going to go to Sports Direct today for shoes and bags for group. And all that's left now for Abby is stationery, which she got it all at Asda. Again, if I can see the prices online, I'll put them on the screen because they're not detailed in the receipt. So she got this lovely pencil case, just a pink pencil case, um, which I think is really nice. She got this green metal ruler, which is the same as mine, and I love that. Brilliant. She got the black zebra pens, the same as I showed you for Brooke. This was a really good pack of pencils and sharpener and rubber. Tippy Tippex to get the Tippex. <laughs> Should have got some for Brooke, but she would probably spend all day sniffing it, knowing her. <laughs> um, she got this big glue stick. She got two packs of um, highlighters because she's like me, she likes to have her notes all very organised and bold and easy to read. So she got this pack of bright highlighters and this pack of pastel highlighters which I think are lovely. And finally, she got an A4 pucker pad, just a, a lined notepad, and it's the type that you can tear the, the pages out to put in a folder, and it's punched as well. So that right, was, that. let's show you what we got from Sports Direct. We didn't end up getting anything out of my plan. Um, we just got this out of Sports Direct, and then I got her something out of B&M, and I've got something to show you from Asda as well. Right, so her shoes. She tried on quite a few pairs, but none of them fitted her properly. And she ended up with these ones, which she really likes. And I think they're very practical because they'll do even in the rain and the snow as well. Not the best grip, but they're definitely going to keep her warm and dry. So these were 
£38 down to £19. So can't complain at that. So, yep, she's very happy with them. And I've told her to be careful with them because she goes through shoes like nothing else. And also from Sports Direct, we got her this school bag to zoom out a bit. Now, we had seen this online and really liked it. So it's got a pocket in the front there that she can put her phone and her purse and things in. But this front zip bit opens up and reveals a fruit bag, which is this. So the fruit bag is velcroed in and it's basically just a, a little pouch, which is very handy. And a little lunchbox. And inside the lunchbox, there's a little plastic tub for your sandwich. There's some cutlery and a little bottle. And I thought that is just perfect to save getting in of an extra because... Brooke is such a fussy eater, she'll still take a packed lunch even although it's um, high school. Although once they're allowed off campus, um, she'll go to Morrison's and things, but first year they need to stay in school. So that's the front of the bag. It has also got a net there for another bottle. The back of it's just got the slazenger, um, it's got slazenger on the strap. This side has got a zip, just like a little extra zip pocket. And the main section, it's just, can you see it? It's just one big section. So that is going to be ideal. Um, so she'll get her PE stuff and her books and things in there. She'll get her lunch in the front bit, the wee zip at the front for her purse and her phone and some extra little pockets at the side and that was £16. How good is that for £16? Some of the ones that we were looking at in JD Sports were like £28 and they didn't have the lunch things in them. So I think that is perfect. And out of B&M today she wanted another bottle because the one that comes with this isn't very big. So I just got her that. I thought it goes with her bag and it was only £3. Yep, 600ml bottle for £3, so that can go in the side bit there for her. So that is everything that she got for school. Now the last wee bit that I want to show you is stuff that I got in Asda today. The first thing is, look what's new, dairy milk buttons are twisted. So it's milk and white chocolate in dairy, bu dairy milk buttons. As you can see, we've already tried them and they are nice. So that is what they look like, they're a decent size. And they're very tasty. Calorie wise, it's 134 calories for 10 pieces. So that's not bad at all. 134 calories for 10 pieces. That's pretty good. And it's the middle of August, which can only mean one thing. Christmas! We have got mince pie digesters and we have got gingerbread digesters. Yay! I love Christmas! I know people say it's way too early, but I don't care. Once the summer holidays are out of the way and Abby's birthday, which is on the 27th, then I'm in full Christmas mode. So yeah, we had to pick them up. Mince pie and gingerbread digesters. Yay! So that was their back to school haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already for more hauls and vlogs. Hit the bell notification to be reminded of every time I put a video up. Talk to me in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye!